absolute worst time of the entire week for someone to get rear-ended somewhere in the Tampa Bay area. Yesterday, we told you at the top, uh, the top places for rear-end crashes. Uh, you can still find that story right now at abcactionnews.com. And now, as we're taking a live look here at the Gandy Bridge, we're also learning what's causing these rear-end accidents. ABC Action News reporter James Tully joins us from Dunedin High School with an idea that may get people to pay closer attention. I didn't expect to be on a pedal cart today. Then again, I didn't expect to come across a program the sheriff calls one of the most effective ways to simulate distracted and intoxicated driving. It's called the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office Targeted Response Against Distracted Driving Program. Thanks to a $48,000 grant from State Farm, they were able to help students simulate distracted and intoxicated driving on these courses with ATVs and pedal carts. Students say, it was tough to do, but that's exactly what the sheriff wants to hear. It was a struggle. It was definitely a struggle because the cones would double and it would be like two ways. You'd have double vision. You know, that phone right there has uh, a person actually texting me. So he, they say, hey, are you going to the party? Uh, why aren't you texting back? So let's try it ourselves. These goggles simulate four times the legal limit of intoxication. I'm going to pedal my way down the course. I've been driving a lot longer than these kids, and I think I'm still going to have a lot of problems because these cones are going everywhere for me right now, in the center, on the left, on the right, and there you go. Thank you, deputy, letting me know I crashed about 10 feet into the course. The sheriff says it's effective, and you know what? I think I believe him. Reporting in Dunedin, James Tully, ABC Action News.